All right. Hey, everybody, it's Juanita McDowell with the Real Estate Technology Institute, and I'm excited because we are continuing our CRM Smackdown. And today I have Kyler from Brevity on the, on, on the webinar. And <laughs> so he is going to make sure we know what's going on with Brevity and all the great features and things that are going on behind the scenes. So, so first of all, Kyler, I'm going to thank you for your time. I never take time for granted. <laughs> I appreciate it when people are willing to chat with us. So thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be here. Great. Uh, Kyler, one of the things that is always an issue for uh, realtors, they, they know they need a CRM. That's, that's never the issue. That's never the issue. saying, okay, but the 100 to choose from, how do I know which one to choose from? So let's just take cost off the table and just talk about some of the features that if you were just telling people about a CRM and not even, let's not, let's not start with Brevity just yet. What are just like one or two features you say you absolutely have to have regardless? What are those things? And then tell us what Brevity offers in that context. So things I think a CRM absolutely has to have is, is uh, you know, a way for me to easily find groups of people that are either in my database, people that I've done business with before or know, um, and it's got to be easy to kind of market to those people or stay in touch with those people. Um, Absolutely. That's one of the big Absolutely. Having a CRM, right? That's and why that's you get out of your email box. Yeah, that's one of the big issues. The, the National Association of Realtors has been putting the statistic. I think 86% of people that realtors that close their client the first time, they're happy and excited, but they don't use them a second time. And I think that's one of the reasons is they're not using the CRM to stay in touch with their previous clients. Right. Yeah. If it's left up to my mind, right. I got enough stuff going on each day. It's, it's, it's hard enough for me to keep track of, you know, uh, what I'm going to make for dinner tonight rather than, uh, you know, all these people I've done business with before. So, and that's the low hanging fruit too. You know, I can always go out and meet new people, but if somebody already loves me because I did a great job selling their house or helping them find a home, why not stay in contact with that person? Right. Touch. Them Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Well, I think that they, they're not using the CRM because that's the automation part of your business. I think that's where you go in and say, hey, I've got one that's doing the, that work for me. And I, of course, so that's what, why we're really, and we're getting such great participation out of this, this CRM series. I mean, we're, we're, we're loading them in and people are really watching our webinars here. So now let's talk Brevity specifically. Um, getting great review has always gotten great reviews. And I have a student I want to share with you real quickly and actually share with everybody that's listening. She is a, a realtor out of just the Georgia mountains. And she told me about Brevity years ago. And one of the things that she said that just Brevity addresses for her, and I want you to talk about this feature a little bit more. But one of the things that she was, she says, when I list a house, I'm doing a lot of work behind the scenes. But I don't think that my client knows what work that I'm doing. So if you could talk a little bit about how Brevity addresses that, because that's one of her big features. She's, she's one of your loyal, probably, I call her your super fan. What is it that Brevity's doing? <laughs> she really is. What, what is, is it that Brevity's doing for her that's making her so excited about, you know, all this work that she's doing behind the scenes? She feels like she's getting credit for finally with this product. Yeah, with Brevity, um, you know, it's more than just managing your leads. It is, right? Managing leads in your past clients, but you also get to manage all your transactions inside of Brivity too. So once that lead says, Hey, I want to list with you. Awesome. I just create the transaction and move the lead over as a seller. And then this page that you see here, can you see my screen? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. Oh, um, oh, I can see it. Yes. It's off in the corner. Let me see if I can make it bigger. I want to make sure that's getting in the webinar. Okay. Now I see it. Now it's really big. Wonderful. All right, cool. Um, so once I add that transaction into Brivity, I add that seller in here, and this is my transaction page where I can follow up with all the, you know, all the 180 some odd tasks you go through once you take a listing. Um, but this also doubles as a client portal, right? So mm. Brivity's the only system that does this. Your your client's going to get an automatic email the moment I add them as a seller to this, and it's going to tell them their login info and tell them how to get here, so they can get here and they can see, you know, everything I'm doing as I do it. Uh, to get their home sold. So it's just giving us that transparency and that communication that, uh, you know, always seems to be missing, right? Those it are always is. the bad reviews that we get are people that felt like we didn't, they didn't know what was happening. They felt like they just paid us a bunch of money and, and we took it and left, right? Whereas this kind right. of helps them see all the work we're putting in each and every day. So they get this portal that they can come see their showing feedback. They can 
look at notes that we've left for them. They can see this timeline of everything we've ever done as far as like advertising, we've posted their property to Twitter, or these are the tasks we've completed or documents we've uploaded to the portal. Uh, but they also get an automatic update email at the end of every day. Well, you can pick oh. at the end of every day, at the end of every week or never at all. Some people don't want any of these, but um, it just kind of says, hey, seller, here's everything I did to get your home sold today. Right? Here's the oh. task I completed. Major portals your property is posted on. Marketing I did through the CRM. Um, oh yeah, and you had a showing today, so here's the feedback I got from that. All right, so oh. they've got these, these two, two communication tools that really just help keep them in the loop and keeps them happy, right? Shows all okay. Because you, you work hard, people just don't know what you do every day. So, you know, like the, the general public doesn't know what the day-to-day -day looks like for an agent. So this helps us to, uh, to portray that. Um, wow, that is very cool. And see, I didn't know about the email that, that is sent out. Yeah. That was that's why I'm just gonna be honest. If if you were listing my house, I would want that, and I would be looking at it, going, okay, 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 very cool. So if you don't mind, um, just looking at your na your left navigation, walk us through what's going on there. I see leads, people, transactions. So this is just it looks very user friendly. Uh, if you just kind of give us show us kind of what's going on there. Yeah, absolutely. So. I mean, to give a little backstory, not too much, but the reason Ben Kinney built this, he's the CEO of the company, is because, um, you know, he was starting to, his team was starting to grow really big and they didn't have a good tool for transaction management. So that's actually how Brevity started years back, was just a transaction management tool strictly for his own teams so they could handle all the volume he was going through. And then we've kind of added on um, as we've progressed. But yeah, we've got this leads tab where we've got, um, you know, all of our different lead sources that you might be getting leads from, you know, a lot of people get leads from Zillow or Realtor.com or um, right. those big things. We can get those syndicated to come into the leads tab here, um, as well as, you know, other tools that Brivity offers. But um, uh, that way you're not having to manually input all of your leads. You can just kind of have them syndicate in through here. Um, but I can see all my leads here. I can see their intent, buyer or seller, or if they're both, right, it might have an S and a B there. Mm. Um, I, and then I have this status bar and I would change the status bar as I work that lead so that that way, you know, if I want to filter down and find all my hot leads one day, I can just come up here. I can filter down by my hot leads or I can filter down by custom tags that I've added into the CRM. And this allows me to just kind of find a group of people really quickly and then uh, if I wanted to do like some target marketing or, uh, or send out a mass email to everybody in that group, I can just select all over here and then I can send them out an email. Brevity oh, syncs. I love it. Yeah, I syncs, love it. Syncs with your Gmail. So, um, you know, anything I send out of Brevity is going to, uh, it's going to track all my outbound conversations, but it's also going to track all the return conversations that people send back to me. Um, so that's a really cool tool too. And then you oh, can sure is email templates here um, and we actually give you a bunch of email templates that you can use um, but you can uh, you know really quickly select an email template that's got placeholders so it says hey Bob Schmidt rather than uh, you know hi potential lead or you know it doesn't sound like a canned response you know right right it's here too um, a lot of oh, people also cool. it's kind of a tangent a lot of people also um, have like a uh, what is it MailChimp account yes make uh, newsletters um, so one cool thing is MailChimp is free um, certain types of MailChimp are free uh, but what you can do is you can make your awesome newsletter in MailChimp and then you can copy the source code that comes from that and you can just okay. paste it into here into this little spot on the WYSIWYG editor here and then it'll show all the pictures and custom HTML that you've made so you don't have to send everything out through MailChimp you can create an email and you can actually select your entire database all at once inside of Brivity and uh, send out a mass email out to everybody. Okay, that's awesome too. You yeah, know, cool. I, I want to interrupt you just for a second because the valid point you made earlier is that Ben Kenny, you know, he's a realtor. And that is one of the reasons, because I've seen, uh, you know, like I mentioned, you're super fan using this application. And, and I want to make sure I'm clear with everybody. I'm not going to be like, partial to any one CRM, but this one in particular, because it was designed by a realtor, it, it, it does make a difference, doesn't it? Because that means that, you know, you know what it needs, you know what the, the what the job needs. And this is kind of kind of like with that thinking in mind, this application came about. I, I do like that. It's extremely, I think that's a definitely, I want to reinforce that. Yeah, I think it definitely helps, you know, having somebody who's been in your shoes um, and kind of climbed his way up to be pretty successful, right? So he, right. he 
makes all of his teams use this and it just kind of works out, right? Like uh, we've got all our leads and we can work our leads from here. We have these things called action plans too. I don't know if you see this up here. Do, those would okay. be like our, those would be like our follow-up plans, right? Okay. So, um, you know, when I get a new lead, if it's a, you know, a brand new lead, I might put it on a 10 days of pain. That's like a Ben Kinney action plan that he always does, right? Where it's 10 days of me just harassing this person in the nicest way possible, right? With emails, texts, and phone calls in order to make contact. And then once I make contact with that lead, I'll put a more specific plan on it. Like a long-term buyer lead would be like a buyer nurture or, uh, oh. you know, all the way down to like short-term, which would be like buyer 30 day. And the same for sellers, right? Or if I have a for sale by owner that I'm, that I'm listing, right? I can kind of, we have plans built in here for all this. And then to show you kind of what these plans look like is be like our people plans and our settings here. And, uh, and we can build in, you know, automatic emails mixed in with physical tasks so that if I get a buyer nurture lead and he's not going to be ready for six to 12 months, I'm going to apply this plan to him. Like I was showing you on that last page. Sure. And, and all these tasks underneath this plan are going to start to auto populate based on when I want them to be due and who I want them to be assigned to, right? So if I have a team, I can actually pick who's going to do what on the team. I might have an admin that helps me do a lot of stuff, or if I'm a single agent, these will all go to me, right? But, yes. um, but right here, this is an automatic email. It's going to go out after one day. I don't have to think about it. It's just going to go out. Um, but then down here, you know, every 30 days, I'm going to go like their Facebook status, right? Yes. In front of their mind. And then every 60 days, I'm going to call and check in. And then every 90 days, I'm going to evaluate and see if they need to be on a different action plan, right? Are they closer to being able to sell anything like that? So all these tasks and everything, if it's not automated with an email, it'll show up as a physical task and it'll show up in my task section here. So right okay. here, it's going to tell me, and this is actually the first page I'll see when I log into Brevity. It's going to tell me everything I need to do today, right? Or everything that my team needs to do today. Um, so this is like your, this is your checklist for each day. And, and in a perfect world, every lead and every transaction is going to have an action plan applied to it so that when I log in, this is everything. This is everything right. I need to do. So I'll just go through this list. If I don't know what that task is or I need some reminding, I can just click on the task, see the instructions that I've written in for it. And then as I complete the task, I just check it off and it'll disappear. And if it's for that, if it over here, it says who it's for. If it's right. for, lead, it'll have the name of the lead. And if it has a, an address, it's for that property. Right. So, um, okay. so once I check that task off for the address, that's when it gets added to that client portal. And that's right. when it's added to that, to that automatic email that goes out at the end of the day. Ah, keeping track of all that good stuff. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. And so the way these people plans work, just like what I was showing you is almost exactly the way that the uh, property plans work. So these would be like the contract to close plans, the, uh, you know, the pre-listing phase and all the things that are related with that. The, uh, the active listing phase and all the all the tasks that are into that. And what we do is we give you all these plans that you see here, and then we also give you instructions for uh, for all those plans. So, of course, it's not going to be perfect for everybody, but it gives you a bit of a framework so that you can come in here and you can, you know, make it your own, but just do some tweaks and edits rather than having to kind of recreate the wheel when it comes to this. I'm seeing a first-time agent shouldn't be without this, to be honest with you. If you're a relatively new agent, I don't see how you could be without this because it's kind of like you're, 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 you're training in a way. You're actually saying, here's some tasks that you need to be doing in case you didn't know. Right. Yeah. Like this is the gospel. Yeah. Um, it, it's perfect for if you're like starting to grow a team too and you're bringing on new members and you've got an onboarding process. Um, you know, if they don't know if they've never done any of this kind of stuff, I don't have to stand over their shoulder and make sure that they do it perfectly for, you know, a whole month straight. I can just kind of let them go on this. And if they have any questions about, you know, what this means, then I can help, but kind of sure. gives them a little bit of a, a little bit of a crutch to stand on while they're, uh, while they're getting their feet under, you know? Right. Exactly. Exactly. What is that reporting tab about where it says reporting off right there? Yeah. Yeah. This reporting to kind of helps us track, um, you know, agent activity. So this would be like, if you have a team, this might be really important for you to track kind of, all right, how many leads has Brandon gotten in the last seven days, 30 days, mm, year? And yes. I can see how many they've emailed, called, texted, and I can see the response time for all those things too. So Ben holds all of his teams to a certain metric, right? Like uh, okay. no lead should sit more than five minutes um, from when it initially gets response. So we should have some sort of connection with them in five minutes, whether that's either an automatic email or a phone call would be preferable or a text message, anything like that. 
Um, but this system will kind of help us track that. And then I can also see, you know, um, how many trash leads there have been, leads with no email, leads with no phone number. And then I can come over here and look at a lead source tab, which kind of helps me, helps me track my different lead sources and the ROI I'm getting on those, right? So if I have, okay. these would be the Brevity tools, but if you get leads from realtor.com or Zillow, those will come, those will show up down here in these other sources. And I can kind of see, all right, how many new leads have I gotten from this in the last seven days? How many were unqualified? How many were hot? How many were, um, you know, how many are inactive or did I have to trash them because they were a bad lead, right? Sure. So, I can kind of see what advertising I'm doing that's working and where my money might be best spent, you know, moving forward. Uh, you know, I've, I've said this to so many uh, people that I've coached over the years. I've said, you know, you're spending money as an example on Zillow leads or whatever lead system, but you've got to track it. You've got to know if it's really helping you and benefiting you. Uh, and it sounds like you're able to bring all this good stuff in here and, um, and determine that. So yeah. now one, one, let me ask you a question. One of the things that, you know, I'm always telling people is, it's not just about picking a CRM, but learning how to use it. Learn how to use all the features of it. And, and, and Brevity seems very rich with features. Is there, tra is there training videos that you can watch? Um, how can you get more familiar with the site when you're using this tool? Yeah, we actually do. Uh, we have a really good, we have a really awesome support team and a success team here. They're well separate and they do great things. So the support team helps you. Um, if you have any technical issues with your account or you're trying to figure something out, it doesn't seem like it's working right. But then our success team and their job is to make sure that you're using the system and that you're getting the most leverage out of it as possible. Right. Um, right, so right. We do live webinars every day of the week at 10 o'clock Pacific time. So you can log in and you can um, sit in on a live webinar, ask questions, um, just kind of figure out what's going on next. But then also we have this thing, up here, this little question mark with a circle around it. This is where we uh, save everything. Because if you can't make it to a live webinar, I get it. You got a busy life. But if you want to watch something late at night after you put the kids down, right? We've got a lot of recorded. Oh, recorded. Webinars here. oh okay, yeah. Um, so you can up here too. You can ask questions like. Uh, we have a bunch of like uh, support articles and everything like that. So I can ask questions and there's usually an answer for it with a little video walkthrough. Um, but if we go back to this main page, we've got recorded webinars here for different parts like transaction management specifically, or um, for, you know, agent level training and admin training inside the CRM because everybody's going to use it kind of differently. Um, okay. We also have Ben does this internal webinar series called the Bob and Ben show. So it's Bob Stewart, who's the co-founder of Active Rain, who works here. And then of course, Ben Kinney, the CEO, and they do it one every couple of weeks usually. And they'll just try to sit down and kind of tell us, uh, Ben will just kind of riff about here's why I built it this way. And, and here's how my team or, or teams using in the system at a high level are getting the most leverage out of this specific part of the CRM or of the platform, just because there are so many things you can do, right? So this, this right, webinar right. here, the get your sphere and gear, that's, that's one action plan inside, inside of Brevity called sphere and gear. Um, and that just been talking for an hour and a half on how to get more juice out of your sphere right? and get more, uh, sure. get more business out of people, you know, so you have a kind of training and access to a, a top producer who's you're listening to him talk about what, how he's using the system and what he's doing. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And when you sign up okay. for the full Brevity platform too, you also get Ben's cell phone number and a little membership card. So he really encourages you to, to text them if you have questions or text them if you need help. It's kind of like oh, him okay. liking what I'm hearing. Now talk to me a little bit about mobile and because, you know, realtors are always on their phone. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have a mobile app? How does that work? Don't have an app right now. We will be releasing okay. one soon, but right now it's mobile optimized. So that's kind of why we've been dragging our feet on bringing an app out because apps are, they always limit your functionality. Right? If, I'm on the move, if I'm on the move, I want to be able to do anything from my car or anything from a park bench that I could do from my laptop at work. So um, we just mobile optimize Brivity so that if you pull it up in your browser on Safari or Google Chrome, it sizes down real nice and it fits really well onto your okay. phone. You can do anything hey, we, from there as you can. From the we will take that. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, is that something you talk to uh, a sales rep about or do you want to discuss that? Yeah, we can talk about that. I am a sales rep, so you got me. All right. Yeah. Uh, so for the CRM as a standalone product, it'd be $99 a month for two users and uh, $20 a month per additional user on top okay. of that. I gotcha. All right. All right. So now I have asked um, all the questions that I have for you, Kyler, but is there anything else you just want to add on or uh, mention before we disconnect? This has been yeah. great. 
one thing I want to show it that I think is important, right? Because we try to do yeah. the, the full loop, right? So we try to do lead nurture, uh, transaction management once they're a client, and then past client follow up. Um, sure. But there's also, you know, we also have to be able to market our properties because that's one way that a lot of agents fall down and just don't know where to go with it, right? Because it's difficult. Um, so right in here, we've got a marketing tab here with a little bullhorn. And uh, mm, what it's going to take all my transactions. So I've got all my transactions as I'm working on my coming soon, active pending souls. It takes all my active and coming soon properties. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes all the information I've put into that uh, transaction page here. And it allows me to just really quickly post that to social media, right? So if I oh. wanted to post this property to Facebook, all I do is click the Facebook icon. It logs me into Facebook. It uh, generates a post for me automatically. Can you see that all right? Yes, I can. And that uses the information from that transaction page that I have. And then I just post it to Facebook, right? I can share it to my timeline, share it in a group or a friend's timeline, whatever I want to do. But that's a great tool. When people click on that, that beautiful post that's made there, it, uh, it'll actually take them to a single property page that Brivity built for your transaction, right? So yeah. I'm back okay. on my transaction page. When I click this beautiful orange button up here, Brivity will generate a single property page for that listing. So it takes the photos you've uploaded. I, there's a virtual tour built right in. Um, you know, I can have my listing description, property details. I can even get leads from this from people requesting showings. Um, but Brivity makes this for you. It's, it's SEO optimized. If somebody searches this address in Google, it'll show up on that first page of results. Um, but this is a great way to get your properties out there and get some interest in them before they're even on the market, right? While they're coming soon. Okay, Kyler, you could have started with this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much. I don't know where to start. Yeah. Yeah, start, start with this. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's a really cool tool. It really helps you just kind of quickly market to these kind of basic, uh, basic platforms, right? Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Sure. You know, and it's interesting. Uh, and, I, and I just want to throw this in here. If a realtor is watching this and you're thinking, you know, you're making a listing presentation, this is a tool to brag about because you can show them how easy it is that you can actually, you know, look what, look what this application that I use, look what it does and look how I can so easily, you know, get exposure to your listing, say, or, the yeah, absolutely. Ben's teams will take this page, like your transaction page, pre preferably a closed transaction because it'll have all this activity from you working it. Sure, um, sure. And they'll pull this up on like an iPad or a laptop in the listing presentation and say, here's something that no other agent can show you, right? Everything that I'm going to do to get your home sold, right? I, I sold this home, uh, you know, 10 days under the average time on market for 10% over the, the average price. And this is what I did to do it, right? I'm going to do everything I did here for you so everybody you. Kind of gets that same awesome experience makes it a no-brainer that sounds great oh wow all right i'm glad you showed us that yeah all right all right well kyler i appreciate you and appreciate your time and we'll have more information about brevity below uh a link below um with this webinar so everybody have access to to know where it is we'll also be including this in our big um we're actually doing a special area on our website so brevity will be mentioned and featured in that as well. So again, thank you for your time. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm going to be uh, opening it up right now, this webinar for any Q and A and we have access to Kyler. If you guys have any questions that we can't answer, we'll be hopefully accessing you Kyler to answer any questions that our, our uh, listeners have. Sounds like a plan. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, no problem. All right. Take care. You too.